Uh, my idea is I'm using sci-fi and fantasy genre to create a opening film where a man walking down in the old timey London gets attacked by somebody who turns out to be a vampire that turns him and he doesn't realise and I'm going to do this by creating the effect mainly in editing and using props like fake blood and teeth and I mean, the actors will be people that I know, which will be easier for me. What angles are you going to use? Uh, quite a variety, really. I'm not. I haven't really specified any yet. Okay, I like your idea. Um, I like the storyline, and I think if you use the right angles, then it would be really effective. Well, I'm going to use a long shot and cut in between to make it more effective and more thrilling. That's a good idea. Why in, like, old London? Because, like, in the 1800s sort of era, vampires were more believed to have existed and stuff. Okay. My idea is um, quite long. Um, it's going to start off in a really dark room and a phone vibrates on the, ca on the table and the camera is just behind the phone looking towards a girl. She opens her eyes and reaches over for the phone and then I'm going to have a shot of the phone from the girl's point of view um, and the message is going to say, come to mine. Um, the camera is then going to follow the girl to the curtains while, while she'll draw them back and see that it's really, it's raining really hard. Um, then the camera will skip back to her and she'll just be staring at the rain. She'll then go to her mirror um, and I'll edit it so that the shot is from the girl's point of view looking into the mirror where she has a really pale skin um, with really, really dark eyes. Um, she's concentrating very hard and the lighting is going to be really dark it's going to be very quiet, but maybe a small amount of suspense-y sort of music in the background. Um, then the camera is going to jump to her walking out of the door, leaving without a coat even though it's raining. Her hair ends up soaking and she has running makeup. Um, the camera is then going to skip to her walking up to a house from behind. She's walking with a purpose. The camera then skips to her knocking on the door um, and then to her face from the point of view of the door. Then it skips back to a low angle of her hands where she has a knife. Um, the door's going to open and a voice says, you came. It is still looking at the girl and she smiles. Her arm raises and there is a lot of suspense music. Hello, is said. And the screen then was going to cut to the title logo. Uh, I think that's a very good idea. Yeah, same. I think that's a good one. Um, will it develop a reason why she's got a knife? Well, because that's the two minutes, I did plan for the original storyline of the whole film to be the next day she's going to wake up and there's going to be blood all over her and she turns on the news and there's a story about somebody that's been murdered in their own home, stabbed, and she suddenly gets this recollection of the fact that it might have been her, even though she's not sure why she did it because um, she's going crazy. Good idea. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Um, my idea is um, there's just a man on the field with his helmet and he's got a sword in possibly like a pack or something and there's an cl extreme close-up of just his face and then he shouts and starts running towards the camera as the camera zooms out and sees, you see his whole body and he draws his sword and then it cuts straight away to him like if he was dreaming he opens his eyes and just starts breathing heavily and um, he walks to his uh, curtains, draws them and just sees like this massive army like it, he's like looking behind him just sees this army like, under his command and then it's going to cut to the start title How are you going to do the army? Uh, possibly like CGI effects or something like that cool.
I like that idea. I think it's original. That's good. Yes, I agree.